so, so excited to present to you, um, everyone. Um, the artist that I'll be talking about is Callan Schwab, and I actually discovered him um, through Instagram, and I was really fascinated by his work, so I'd love to share with you what I um, found out about him. So Callan Schwab is an abstract artist in Montreal, Canada. He's also based in Toronto. Um, he's recognized for vibrant paintings and he uses natural forces um, like trapezes, pendulums, spinning machines in an innovative way to produce bold and thought provoking temporary work. So um, his main goal is to share his painting process with his viewers and inspire fans everywhere to participate in this movement that he started called the fake art movement which is a movement that encourages mental wellness, anti-cyberbullying, and positivity. So with his paintings, um, he's actually internationally known, and he really wants to make the world a colorful place, one artwork at a time. That's his little mission that um, he says. So the first um, art piece that I'll show you is actually um, a series called um, Forgiveness from his collection called Color Therapy um, Collection, which explores the full array of different colors and their corresponding emotional effect. So he wants to, with this series, bring mental wellness and positivity with his art. He ultimately asks his viewers, um, what does this palette make you feel? And he really wants to challenge traditional art to canvas paintings by engaging in live performances and redefining how people appreciate and interpret art. So with this, his whole theme behind it is that um, this actually emerged out of the pandemic and he really wants to highlight how much pressure this pandemic is with social isolation and, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> social isolation and being connected because human connection is very critical to our survival. And especially with people such as myself who deal with mental illness issues, um, this can be really self-deprecating and really harmful to us. So by being able to connect through things like Zoom, like with you guys and um, connecting with friends, this helps us to stay in touch. So he tries to be more accessible by sharing his work online um, and seeking that form of connection with his viewers. So this is, this is the awesome. palette number six of the color therapy collection phase two. The palette is white, coral, fluorescent tangerine, fluorescent orange, orange, burnt orange, aqua, Perugian blue, and bright blue. So if you notice here, he uses this thing called a trophy, and um, you'll see he kind of maneuvers it over the canvas to make the desired shapes that he wants. So moving on, um, these are some of his more later works, um, earlier works actually, and the one in the middle in particular 
um, he gets a lot of hate comments with people saying, oh, this isn't art or um, this isn't very innovative or creative, but um, his idea behind this fake art movement is that he's actually trying to target these trolls, not to like lash back on them, but to provide them with empathy and love because he doesn't actually want them to feel hate. Um, he wants to show them empathy and kindness, and he doesn't want his viewers to blame his trolls either, because um, he has empathy for them, and he's like, maybe these trolls, they've had bullying issues on themselves through their families, and ultimately, like, he wants to educate and inspire through his art, um, and get rid of like stigmatisms and anti-bullying. So this was another um, series that he did and um, the main mediums that he used was resin and acrylics. Um, I really wanted to show this to you guys because I found it really fascinating um, how the colors look so vibrant and it looks very intentional but non-intentional at the same time. And the fact that it's kind of free flowing, um, it kind of um, connects to our own emotions in a way because we can't really control our emotions, but we let them go and we let them feel what they feel. And I think that's ultimately what he's trying to express with um, his art. So that was my presentation. And if you have any questions, do let me know. <laughs>